Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to manipulate photo like this photo. Okay, uh, this one. And let's see what was the previous one. Okay, uh, the previous file was like that. Okay, I'm opening up that, this one. This one is the previous and after manipulate this one you are getting this type of output okay so let's start i'm crossing this one okay uh, you have to cut these uh, children from the background that means uh, you need a transparent background and that's why i'm using the pen tool so i'm using pen tool i already just show uh, how to use pen tool so if you want to get a more detailed tutorial over there please check out my video description so i'm going forward Okay, after that uh, select the right button and make selection options and give 2 pixel and hit ok button after that uh, go to the select option and select and mask from the select and mask uh, take the smart noise reducer smart reduce actually and take this one smooth give the smooth options and feather a little bit and contrast a little bit that's good and here is a brush you can uh, just refine the edges if you want okay. just you can zoom in or you can refine the edges of here okay like that okay then uh, hit the ok button after that make it mask you are getting new background only the transparent background layer so now i'm going to file and then open i'll open up the background layer which is like this this background layer and i'm taking this children photo in this and hit the ok button press ctrl t and make it a little bit bigger adjust with the ground and hit the ok button okay that's good uh, but here is some the white area uh, I'll just uh, brush those or work with it press the control button and alter button actually and press the mask over there and from there go to the dodge option and the burn option you can adjust the uh, brush or feather size uh, by pressing the third bracket opening and closing and it will be like a uh, smooth or in the sharp edges it will make to help here is the burn tool dodge burn option in a dodge burn option get it smooth okay and press here it will apply okay after that uh, image is almost ready uh, I'll work with the shadow here and before that uh, I'll make it more transparent the uh, dress of the girl that's why I'm select this layer again and going to the brush and make the opacity down 30, 26 or 25 that's good and after that I'll make the brush size smaller and just make it black and I'll draw over there actually I'll brush over there it will make more realistic 
the dress is transparent that's why uh, I'm just pressing off it there okay that's good more realistic and after that uh, I'll have to add shadow mm, I'm taking this here and the light is coming from that side but uh, in this picture this one is in that side so that's why I'm press ctrl T and make it flip horizontal yes that's good and the same direction the light is working that means light is coming from this direction okay after that taking a blank layer and just taking in a below of this model layer or children layer after that select the brush and increase the opacity of the brush like 100% and press once press ctrl T make it bigger and make it like that for that I am just giving the shadow okay and uh, just take another blank layer and or you can copy this layer by pressing ctrl J and move this layer to in this portion okay that's good but you need to polish the portion so I'm selecting this layer and going to the brush again and I'm making it smaller down the opacity flow and it will just adjust with the shadow it will be amazing okay after that this shadow and I'll reduce the opacity a little bit down and make like that okay and this one also opacity a little bit down and just give there okay I'm going to the eraser file and erase these options okay and select here and erase this option just because of uh, light is coming from the left side that's why okay that's good and after that I am making copy of this background layer and going to the adjustment and the level I'll adjust the level and only this one that's why I mask this okay that's good and after that I'll take another blank layer and after that going to the brush and the brush opacity 100% flow 100% make the brush size bigger and press once oh, oh make it white and then press once and make it bigger like that and hit the ok button and make it skin mode or press ctrl t or you can make take this one okay after that go to the file and place embedded here is a light and i will add this light to the background and here also and make it the blending mode skin and go to the filter again and the blur and gaussian blur okay and hit the ok button okay after that take another blank layer and here is a brush of the dust brush i'll apply that dust brush here okay okay here is the uh, if you want to know how to make dust brush uh, i'll give the download actually the video link on my video in this video description so don't forget to check it out if you want to get the dust brush okay just brush a little bit like that okay and in this portion i'll brush don't brush too much uh, okay that's good that's good press ctrl T you can make it bigger and make the opacity a little bit down to be more natural okay that's good select all the things making it group making it march by pressing ctrl G ctrl D go to the filter and camera filter after camera filter I'll adjust the light and shadows and highlights other things the color also so 
so it's opening in a camera raw filter those who are, who are using the, the photoshop creative cloud 2017 and 18 and they are getting by default a uh, camera raw filter in your photoshop and those who are using the photoshop ca6 they will have to just uh, install this plugin or camera raw filter manually so okay this portion okay after that i'll de-highlight this one add some shadow add some whites give some exposure reduce the blacks go to the sharp amount and add some sharpness and luminance noise reducer from the effect option i'll give some like that and camera calibration I'll make like that okay that's good HSL I'll increase the yellow luminance and decrease the yellow actually orange saturation and here is a purple color here is a hue of purple okay that's good and hit the ok button loading so after that go to the color look of option from the adjustment layer and the horror blue color and decrease the opacity a little bit okay that's good select all the things make it group make it merge after making it merge go to the filter and make collection color effects pro color effects pro and cross processing here is lots of filters you can use one of them this one is good and hit the ok button ok that's good after that go to the adjustment layer and from the gradient make it radial make it reverse and ok that's good you have to make it more like that and 0% is good and hit the ok button the previous and after okay uh, let's see the previous one okay after that go to the filter again and camera raw filter from the camera raw filter i will use the uh, amount of sharpening and just luminance of noise reducer and i'll add a little bit exposure over there and contrast and saturation all clarity little bit and saturation and hit the ok button it will be more amazing to get uh, output so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend till the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye